right for women which is not even today implemented in jammu and kashmir girls who are born ladies who are born in jammu and kashmir are denied their property rights even as they get married to people who are settled outside of jammu and kashmir which is a gross injustice and that gross injustice has never been addressed with sincerity if only that kind of an injustice can be addressed even before we took it up today today the house didn't have to see the scenes that it saw and i can tell you even with with many of us traveling into jammu and kashmir we've seen how scheduled caste scheduled tribes the bakarwals about whom all of us speak never had uh, rights which were given to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in the rest of the country why should the special status of jammu and kashmir start and end with discrimination against women discrimination against sc discrimination against st if that is the special status i don't think any one of us in this house can be proud of jammu and kashmir with a difference with inequality so profoundly written on its face at least because of that i would have thought members will forget the differences that they had otherwise ideologically and come together today to say we couldn't do it but we are happy that you're doing it we are with you while you're doing it to give a message to the entire country that 1994 that resolution which was passed in lok sabha here about jammu and kashmir being an integral part of india and not just the jammu and kashmir which is with india now but also that jammu and kashmir which and which is under the occupation illegal occupation of pakistan it was a resolution passed in parliament here and if that is truly a resolution which was unanimously passed shouldn't we be keeping up the letter and spirit of that passing of that resolution so neither from the point of human rights nor from the point of view of equal rights for women nor the point of view of positive affirmative uh, 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 positive action affirmative action for scs and sts do we want to talk about jammu and kashmir but we want to talk about it because we've created this whole hype that all oh, the special status is so sacrosanct that even if it denies human right we'll be with it i'm sorry sir we've heard several times people in ladakh who live in a very large area where the population is so sparse having been demanded that we want a unit territory status because it's too difficult to be administered we've heard it over and over again but we have not taken any step today i'm glad after what is happening in this house and later with lok sabha we will be able to meet that aspiration of every ladakhi for a separate union territory for them and lastly sir i'm glad to say the union territory with the legislature elected legislature for the jammu and kashmir inclusive of jammu and kashmir which is occupied parts of kashmir which are occupied by pakistan and the union territory to take care of the needs of ladakh from the point of view of aspirations of the people from the point of view of development today we call kashmir paradise we all want it to be maintained with its pristine beauty not one person is willing to go and invest money even to build a hotel there to receive the tourists no investments are happening in jammu and kashmir please unless we take this step which i am very grateful that the prime minister has guided us and the home minister has brought up this um, uh, amendments with this development i am sure the true development and integration of jammu and kashmir will happen now onwards good ma thank, thank you sri jos k mani Thank you sir